Let it get it for yourself. Because one day you're going to have kids. And the same way you act with your dad, they're going to act worse than that with you. And then it's gonna, the light going to come on. Man, I used to clown with my dad. Now I see I'm about to knock these jokers head off. But if you can get it, oh, it's funny now. Yeah, but if you can get it ahead of time. That's it. Amen. This is the part I missed. That's why I'm telling you. That's the purpose of you coming here. So me, I can give you stuff that you won't have to go through because I went through. Yes, sir. That is if you're small. Now, if you ain't coming here to get nothing and you just want to go the way you want to go, then stop coming. So you can just go, you know what I'm saying, get your own, figure it out on your own. But God, say he used the foolish things in the world. I used to be a fool. You know what I mean? Plum fool. That was me. Mr. Fool. King fool. You hear me? But he used the foolish things in the world, man. They confound the wise. I'm talking to people. I got people that listen to me that got degrees. Do you hear me? Yeah. All type of stuff, but they don't understand me. I'm like, wow, I can't believe this. You, you want to hear what I got to say? Yeah. One woman, I told you, speak with so much revelation and wisdom. She said, I ain't never heard that before. Yeah. To me, it's normal. I'm like, that's how I am. Yes. So, could it be you don't even know what you carry? Mm. What are you carrying? You ever been somewhere and people see you higher than where you at? And you like, that ain't even that ain't where I'm at. Wow. I know what you're talking about, Prophet. You got to see your own potential. Wow. You got to see it. Can't That's a powerful you word. You got to see your own potential, man. See your own you potential. You got to see. Man, I can do this. Man, hey, I can break this pattern. I can break this curse. You feel what I'm saying? Wow. Y'all following me anyway. You know, yes, I can lead you a different way. You feel what I'm saying? But it comes from, you know, that God is building up a boldness. Yes. And so how your boldness get built up is through manifestation. Somebody say manifestation. manifestation. When I manifest something, when, when, when manifest something that comes out of the unseen comes into the seen, something I desired, something I needed, something that I hoped for, once it materializes, once faith materializes, it becomes manifestation. Wow, so I'm here to help you materialize your faith, help you materialize your thoughts, help you to materialize what's in your imagination, my, my, what's my, in my, your my. decisions, what's in your actions, what's in your feelings. My job is to help you materialize that so you can get some manifestation so that every time you look at it, you know I manifested that. Why well, come when nobody coming? I did that. Well, I had to. Wow. And I thought that was going to hit me. It didn't help me. Well, because God is removing all spiritual crutches. Mm -hmm. He is removing everything that you've been leaning on. No Ain't more he doing leaning it? on nothing. Ain't he doing stuff. it? He doing it. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go to Hebrews 5. We're still in the same place. We're dealing with the location. Of Christ, why this is the most important message in the church. This is what he needed a car to come manifest it. This is what the church is missing, y'all. Yep, that's a manifestation. No money, no credit. I hear you. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We understand that those are some good Bible messages. There's so much meaning in it. Oh my god, all the Bible is powerful. Yeah. But let me give y'all a nugget. Here's a very important nugget, Kim. The Bible don't just work, Miss Kim. You have to work. Mm. And folks think coming to church is working about. Mm -mm. Did you catch that? Okay. Y'all know about earthly creation. Y'all know how to create our kids, how offsprings are created. A man and a woman don't just get to bed and lay down. And kids, Papa. Why? Right. right. That's good. That's good. You gotta work it, though. <laughs> Come on. So you can't I just hear you, Prophet. Thank you, Lady G. Thank you, Lady G. You can't just have this Bible, run around this Bible on your dad's board, and grab it on Wednesdays and Sundays and think it's gonna work. And you gotta open it up. There's a book of promises. You gotta grab one promise. Somebody say one. It's many promises. But if you just work on one promise at a time, hmm. 
Somebody might need healing. So grab on your promise that by his stripes, you are healed. Somebody might need a house. Grab on to the, to the promise. They said that I have given you great and good things, but you uh, uh, beauty is not. I have gave you houses filled for the good things. Which you feel is not. Which you feel is not. I gave you wells deep, which you think is not. Mm -hmm. I have trees and vine yards. Planet. Plant. What? Plant is not. That's a, that's a promise. That's a promise. Mm hmm. Whatever you need. Grab a word. That's it. One word. One word. One word. I ain't here to beat you up. I want you to see, take this word and straighten your life out like I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Y'all are no different from where I came from. Yes, so you can are. do it. Come on. Amen. I can do it. That's why we're dealing with Christ. Why? Because everybody be talking Christ. But you ask people what Christ is, can't nobody tell you. Biblically. The wisdom and power of God. Come on. The cliches don't work. And it don't work. <laughs> God don't bag up cliches, Kim. He want to know what I said about it. Amen. Come on, Hebrews 5 and 8. Y'all come on, give God a hand clap of praise. Stand up, stand up on your feet. Give God a hand clap of praise. I feel. 